What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we are looking at Toy Story 4. Now if you remember, I put Toy Story 4 as my number 4 thing that I was looking forward to in 2019. And today, well at the time of recording this I should say, I surprised my friend James whose birthday it is on Sunday at the time of recording this. We went to see Toy Story 4 and we saw it with my other mate Francis and it was, you know, something that we grew up watching for the most part because we were, uh, you know, born after the second, first Toy Story. But nonetheless, we grew up watching Pixar movies, we grew up watching Toy Story movies and, well, we went to see Toy Story 4. So watching Toy Story 4, you know, obviously I'm going to do a review about it and I'm going to be honest, I am very biased when it comes to Pixar films. I think they are the best production company out there. Yes, they have made some mediocre movies. I don't think they've made any bad movies, but they've made mediocre movies and Toy Story 4 is not one of those mediocre movies at all. It's entertaining, funny, and the characters, at least the new main characters I should say, because a lot of the old main characters are pushed to the side to have time to explore areas with Forky, Gabby, um, Duke, um, and it's really amazing these new characters, but I am partly, you know, saddened that we don't get to spend more time with Rex, um, Mr. Potato Head, even the aliens. Toy Story 1 and 2 and even 3, although that came out much later in my um, childhood, I should say, a great inspiration for me regarding to film and why I want to make film, why I want to make this creative content because I want future generations to feel the same way I felt when watching these movies and franchises and forms of media. And Toy Story 4, I'm going to be honest, got me in the feels. I'm not going to lie, I got a little teary-eyed at the end of Toy Story 4. And while I think the ending itself isn't as good as Toy Story 3, I think that's partly because Toy Story 3 was just such a good ending. And with everything said and done, while the characters are amazing, they're fun, while the story is justified, it doesn't feel forced just to get a sequel like, you know, Finding Dory was. This movie is just so entertaining and I laughed several times. The whole audience laughed. It was a good mixture of little kids and adults. Like we were three young adults there watching the movie and to be honest, it was a good movie going experience. The movie itself sure has one or two flaws and it's not really big enough that I'm going to really get angry at it for or really point them out. But the thing is that um, one thing I really do like is obviously the little Easter eggs. I remember seeing the grape soda pin from Up that um, Bo Peep throws away. Um, you see a girl that looks like Boo in one of the carnival games. Several other things, a whole bunch of Easter eggs. I couldn't see the Pizza Planet truck, but maybe I wasn't looking for it hard enough. But nonetheless, really, this film was just a pleasure to watch. I don't think it's really the strongest in this franchise. I probably think it's the weakest, but I've only seen it once compared to the several times I've seen the rest of the trilogy. I guess, I don't know what it's called now. I'm just going to call it a franchise, but really, Toy Story 4 is ranked the lowest, but it's like a 9.8 out of 10, to be honest. That, that's what I'm going to give Toy Story 4. I can't really fault it in many, if any, ways. But, you know, one or two things that I feel forced at times and through jokes and such. But that's nothing that I'm going to really get angry at. Just for my personal benefit, I just didn't really enjoy it. And I do think the ending of Toy Story 3 was so good, it was really hard for this one to top it. And obviously the big question is that Bo Peep, how is she handled as a returning character? You know, I think she's alright. Um, I do find it a little weird that toys are in love still. Um, it's just something that you got to try to wrap your head around. And I have no problem with Forky being alive. But there are a lot of questions you've got to ask about the whole universe itself. But the movie does a good enough job to distract you from answer asking those questions, which any good movie is either able to answer them or make sure you don't think about them. So I'm giving props to Toy Story for the whole crew, the cast. It was a pleasure to watch. It did bring a tear to my eye and while it is not as good as Toy Story 3 or even Toy Story 2, which might be my personal favorite of the franchise, I can't help but love it. 
So with that all said and done, I hope you go and watch the movie itself. This was a pretty much non-spoiler review and I'm sure there's a lot more I want to talk about with the movie itself. If you haven't checked out my remix of the You've Got In Friend Of Me track by Randy Neiman, go and check it out. Put a card up here and I'll also put a link in the description down below. So without further ado, go home, go to a cinema I should say, watch this movie and I'll catch you all next time. See us.